Here we take a look at the Teleton SEQ408. This is a very good sounding amplifier and can still be obtained on online auction sites. This is quite an interesting little amp. It was made by Mitsubishi in 1980. Normally these are branded as Teleton. This is a bit of an oddball. It's branded as Matsy, which nobody seems to have heard of. It's supposed to be 20 watts per channel, but I think that's a bit optimistic. Judging by the signs of the mains transformer, it's more like 10 watts. They're probably causing peak. It does, however, sound fantastic. It's got the usual volume, and these sliders tend to get a bit noisy. So I'll get them all square with contact cleaner. It's got inputs for magnetic cartridge and crystal cartridge. Crystal cartridges usually had outputs of more than one volt with a flat frequency response. Magnetic pickups are a few millivolts and they have the RIAA response. It's got auxiliary. tape input, although it hasn't got a feedback loop for record monitoring. Unfortunately the loudness switch has bit the dust so I just desoldered it at the present as it was stuck in the on position. The stereo mono switch will be useful on modern amps if you have ever tried to play a 4-track mono tape, you find that it only comes through on one channel, so switching to mono would fix that problem. This amp has the Hi-Fi DIN 45500 mark that a lot of Hi-Fi equipment had in the 70s and 80s. Oddly, the model number is the same as the Teleton model number although it's branded as Matsy. To remove the case there are four screws on the bottom and one round the back. Once the screws are out, the case just lifts up vertically. There is an issue with this case being made of wood. They have attempted to shield the transformer, but if you put anything like a tape deck on top of it, you still get some hum transfer. This is an overview of the amplifier. The main transformer is here. That's, that is the main smoothing capacitor and those are the bridge rectifier diodes the output transistors and the capacitors are here most of this is the preamp and filter circuitry the bridge rectifier is actually in two parts there's two diodes in each of those that would be the smoother for the 26 volt rail. These are the output transistors, they're silicon not germanium and the protection fuses for the output stage are there. There's a bit of a rat's nest of point to point wiring on the selector switch. These are all the original capacitors, nothing has been changed and this is used nearly every day. We will now take a look at the power supply. The mains transformer has an output of 32 volts AC. This feeds a bridge rectifier. The output from the rectifier goes to the smoothing capacitor which is shown elsewhere on the schematic. There are RF filter capacitors uh, across each diode. The second 26 volt rail feeds the preamp stages. 
This is one channel of the power amplifier. It has a push-pull output with pre-drivers and is not a cheap build. C137 and R165 act as a Zorbal network. These are used to neutralize the impedance of the speaker's voice coil. This ensures that the crossover network in the loudspeaker works correctly. Each output stage is protected by a 1.5 amp fuse. Output biasing is achieved with a combination of VR103 and VR101. These are adjusted to give 19 volts across the Zobel network. That completes this look at the Teleton SAQ408. I hope this video is of use to somebody. Please leave any comments. Thanks. See you next time.